We're going into the ninth mission of uh, Silent Threat Reborn for the Free Space Port here on Paladin Gaming. With our victory in the IKEA system, Allied forces have succeeded in eradicating the Sheevan presence from almost every corner of Terran Vasudan space. Only one Sheevan stronghold remains, the Ross 128 system, site of the first Sheevan attack on our territory. The GTA and PVE have deployed all available ships to Delta Serpentis in preparation for the invasion of Ross 128. The assault will be led by the GTD Bastion and the PVD Pinnacle, the finest ships in the Terran and Vasudan fleets. Okay, real quick. Intelligent. With our okay, victory real quick. in the IKEA system. Uh, the. Intelligence believes the Shevans have enough supplies and warships in Ross 128 to mount a significant defense. Special Ops has been tasked with doing whatever it can to reduce the amount of resistance our fleets will encounter as they scour the system. Our operations will be divided into two phases. In the first phase, our squadrons will perform a reconnaissance in force of the system to determine the optimum Allied attack strategy. In the second phase, after the invasion begins, our squadrons will conduct strategic assaults against key Shivan positions. We will be deploying all available wings on continuous rotation, so when you leave here, report to your squadron leaders for immediate mission briefings. The Krios itself will remain standing by in a hidden location should problems arise during the invasion. I'm just gonna say it was—it's re really scary that the, there's a jump node from Delta Serpentis to Ross 128 because Delta Serpentis also hosted the jump node to Sol. So that means when the Shivans destroyed Outpost Riviera, they were two jumps from Earth and didn't know it. <laughs> so I guess the GTA super lucked out. Research and development has made available two new weapons to assist our forces in the invasion. A variant of the Synaptic Bomb, GTI's cluster warhead, has been designed for attacks against groups or wings of enemy ships. Upon reaching its target, the primary warhead fragments into multiple secondary warheads that explode within a split second. The detonations produce a field of high-intensity explosive charges, making the cluster bomb most effective against fighter formations and freighters. The cluster bomb has a large blast radius and can destroy your fighter if detonated at close range. Well, we don't want to do that, do we? The EMP missile has just completed field testing, and R&D's scientists are conducting a final evaluation of its design. The missile is designed to produce a large electromagnetic pulse that scrambles sensors, communications and navigation systems, crippling all small craft caught in the blast radius. We're expecting a shipment of the missiles from the repulse shortly and anticipate the weapons will be available for use when you return from your next series of missions. Oh good. Well, let's go on our next series of missions then. In preparation for the main GTA thrust into Ross 128, our squadron is being dispatched to scout out the area. Your assignment is to scan a suspected nexus of Shivan activity near the site of the original attack on Outpost Riviera. Because our communications network in Ross 128 was destroyed when the Shivans first attack, you will be out of contact with command for the duration of this mission. Ooh. Gather as much data as you can. We do not know the extent of the Shivan presence in this sector, so be cautious. Expect to encounter the standard complement of freighters, transports, and fighters. Scan all warships in the area, as well as any debris that you find. If you get the opportunity, scan the cargo in the area as well. The GTI places a high priority on this operation, pilots. It is preferable to gather a small amount of data and return safely than to gather too much information and fail to make it out alive. We need whatever you can give us, no matter how insignificant it may seem. Dismissed. Alright, let's get on down to the flight deck. Scan targets of opportunity. Oh, there's a recon in force. Lokis, huh? I wonder if the Shivans have compromised their stealth yet. We'll, uh... We'll keep with them for now, but if 
the, if if I'm just engaged as normal, I'm and and wind up failing, I'm gonna swap to the valve because it's better at the job being faster. <laughs> Bill Hermetius and five interceptors. Seems as good as we're gonna get on this damn fighter. Okay. Where are the Sheevans? This system's supposed to be swarming with them. Uh... What's that task force doing here? Is that a recovery op? Terran this is Beta-1 of the 91st Phantoms, GTD Krios. Please identify yourselves. Welcome to the I'm afraid you've come at rather inappropriate time. Please accept our apologies. All fighters, terminate the intruders. Wait, what? What the hell is going on? Evasive action! Over the arms. They obviously aren't on our side. Let's finish our mission and get out of here. Alpha One, get everything you can. We'll cover you. That one's scanned. than that. This mission was a surprise for both of us, pilot. Thanks to your scans, we have verified that the cruisers you encountered are GTI ships, originally registered as GTC Odin and GTC Thor. Official records, however, show that these cruisers were destroyed in two separate engagements at the beginning of the Great War. The fact that these ships were present in a highly sensitive sector of Shivan controlled space at the same time as your deployment is more than a little suspicious. We can only assume that this operation was carried out by a rogue element of the GTI. Thanks to your scan of the Shivan cargo, intelligence may soon be able to determine the motivation and intent of the rogue operation. We are already preparing a preliminary report to deliver to Terran Command. Excellent work. Oh boy. So, uh, that was short. <laughs> but, uh, that's a mission, so... We will uh, see you for the next one.